Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have another animated educational piece for you. This is going to be the story of Vivian Thomas, a smart and intelligent man who transformed our understanding of the human heart. Many of these sketches were inspired by the HBO movie Something the Lord Made, which reflects on his life. Before I get started, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Vivian Thomas was born in Louisiana in 1910, and he was the grandson of a former slave. His mom named him Vivian because she was so sure that she was going to have a girl when she was pregnant with him. Vivian was an intellect with plans to go to medical school after graduating from college. Unfortunately, he was never able to finish college after all the money he saved in the bank vanished due to the Great Depression. With his wife, Clara, at home, their young daughter, going back to school was not an option. After being laid off as a carpenter due to the economic climate, Vivian took a job to work as a janitor for labs at Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. The job was paying $12 a week. This is where Vivian met Alfred Blaylock, a surgeon who was doing groundbreaking research on the nature and treatments of traumatic and hemorrhagic shock. Alfred Blaylock quickly noticed how smart Vivian was. He started to train him on surgical skills that could help Blaylock further his research. Vivian picked up his surgical skills pretty quickly, and together, both men made a lot of progress in our understanding of shock trauma that became vital in World War II and today, such as the use of IV fluid bags. That was created from their work. In 1941, Alfred Blaylock accepted a position at Johns Hopkins University to work as a surgeon-in-chief, professor of surgery, and director of Johns Hopkins Medical School's Department of Surgery. Vivian's family packed up their things from Nashville and moved to Baltimore to work with Blaylock. This is where Alfred Blaylock and Vivian Thomas met Helen Tossig, a pediatric cardiologist at Hopkins who wanted to work with Alfred Blaylock to treat Tetralogy of Fallot, also called Blue Baby Syndrome. Tetralogy of Fallot is a condition caused by a combination of four heart defects that are present at birth and leads to heart failure and death. Blaylock agreed to try to figure out a surgical technique to cure this condition. But Dr. Blaylock was often scolded for wanting to conduct surgical research on the heart since it had rarely ever been done before, especially in children. And this is a good time to note that before this, the first ever documented heart surgery was performed in 1893 by Daniel William Hale, who, yep, you guessed it, is a black man. Dr. Blaylock highly depended on Vivian for the execution of his research, their plan was to reproduce this tetralogy of furlough heart defect in dogs so that they were able to figure out how to fix it in humans. Blaylock would ask questions out loud like, what if we connected this vein or artery to this part of the vein slash artery? Vivian would listen to these questions and recreate it in the dogs. The problem is that a baby's heart is too small. And since no one had successfully attempted heart surgery on a child before, the equipment needed had not been invented yet. Vivian Thomas was able to piece together tools and help develop the procedure in dogs that made the surgery possible in humans. Vivian's surgical technique became so advanced that Dr. Blaylock told him it looked like something the Lord made. Hence, the title of the movie. On December 29, 1944, Dr. Alfred Blaylock, with the training he received from Vivian Thomas, performed the first pediatric heart surgery that cured Blue Baby Syndrome. Throughout the surgery, Vivian was standing on a stool behind Blaylock, coaching him through the whole thing. Now, just take a moment to imagine this. A room full of renowned doctors and surgeons, and you just see a black lab technician coaching the chief of surgery through the world's first pediatric heart surgery. That is amazing. And just a reminder, Vivian Thomas has never finished college. He has never been to medical school and he has never performed surgery on a human. And he helped us change our understanding of the human heart forever and launch the field of heart surgery. So you would expect that this is when Vivian's life started to change, receiving acknowledgments and income for his incredible accomplishments. Well, no, this was not the case. 
For a long time, he was getting paid the wage of a janitor while doing groundbreaking research as a technician. Vivian never received acknowledgement in the medical literature for his contribution, and to make ends meet, Vivian would work as a waiter at Dr. Blaylock's parties. So during the day, Vivian would be training world-renowned surgeons and residents, and at night, he would be serving these same surgeons and residents food and drinks at these parties. Vivian did eventually get promoted and became the director of laboratories at Hopkins, and almost 30 years after the surgery, after Alfred Blaylock had passed away, Vivian received his first acknowledgement. In 1976, he received an honorary doctorate degree from Johns Hopkins, and they also revealed a painting of him that is now hung up in the Blaylock building at the hospital next to a brief history of his life. Vivian retired in 1979 and began working on an autobiography. He died of pancreatic cancer on November 26, 1985, and the book was published just days later. The book is called Partners of the Heart, Vivian Thomas and his work with Alfred Blaylock. There's also an HBO film that I mentioned earlier about Thomas's life called Something the Lord Made, starring Alan Rickman, Most Def, and Gabrielle Union. A fun fact about Vivian Thomas is that his nephew, Coach Eaton, later went to medical school at Johns Hopkins University and is now practicing as an orthopedic surgeon. And there you have it, the story of Vivian Thomas. If you found this video informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Have a great day. People.